Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video, another video in our series of videos dealing with coordinate geometry of the line, uh, is going to concentrate on the derivation uh, of the formula that allows us to calculate the perpendicular distance between a point and a line. Uh, and just in case, uh, just in, in case that nobody has seen this particular formula before, the formula looks like this: uh, the distance, the perpendicular distance, uh, is equal to it's equal to the absolute value of ax1 plus by1 plus c uh, all over the square root of a squared plus b squared as the square root of that okay so given a line ax1 ax plus by plus c uh, and given a point x1 y1 this allows us to calculate the perpendicular distance between the point and the line okay let's just geometrically let's just have a look at this graphically yeah, through a uh, through a coordinate system okay so let's say we have we have an x-axis here let me just extend it out we have an x-axis and we have a y-axis which is perpendicular to the x-axis okay and let's say we have a we have a line in space let's just say we have a line here something like this let's call this line and uh, let's say well, just just there's a line okay and let's say it has an equation of a line let's call it l okay and let's say the equation of the line is ax plus by plus c is equal to zero okay and let's say we have a point in space and let's say the point in space is somewhere let's say here okay uh, and let's say this point is x1 y1 okay and what we're interested in is we're interested in how far this point is away from this particular line but more importantly what we're interested in is we're interested in the perpendicular distance okay so we're interested in the perpendicular distance uh, uh, for the line at uh, the point and the line so we're interested really and what is this distance here? If that makes sense. What is that distance here between that point and this line? And this is a perpendicular distance. Okay. Now, we do know how to calculate distances. Uh, we know how to calculate distances when we have two points. And we can calculate the, dis the distance between two points. Okay. So the first thing maybe that we should do is we should try to find another point. Because we have a point x1, y1. And maybe what we should try to do is to try to find the point along this line uh, that intersects with this, with, this particular, with this particular line here. This line segment. Where this line segment is perpendicular to this line L. Okay. So we know this particular point here, x1, y1. Why don't we try to find this particular point, this particular point here? And once we have them two points, we can use the distance formula to calculate the distance between the two points, uh, which is the perpendicular distance that this point is away from this particular line, this particular line uh, L. And what I'm saying here is that it's actually given, it's given by this particular formula here. Okay? And what we'd like to do is we'd like to derive this particular formula. And there's a lot of work in this, a lot of algebraic work, okay, first of all. Okay, so let's say, uh, well, we know that this, this line here is the line L. It's AX. The line L is AX plus BY plus C uh, equals zero. That's the line L. Uh, it's just a general line. It could be anywhere in space, okay? But it has a particular slope. And in particular, the slope of this line here is minus minus A over B. So it's it's minus A over the B. You know, a line perpendicular to it, let's say M, okay? a line perpendicular to it will have, will have an equation that looks like this. It's BX minus A, ay plus some other constant d must be equal to must be equal to zero these two lines are perpendicular to each other okay simply because the slope of this line here is minus a over b and the slope of this line here is minus b over minus a okay which is b over a if that makes sense yeah okay so when we multiply them together we actually end up with minus one which shows that this line is actually perpendicular you can check that out yourself but the main thing here is this is let's call this let's call this particular perpendicular m and let's say it's defined by this equation, which is bx minus ay plus some number d equals zero. Okay. Uh, so we have some general equation. We don't know where it is. This is a general equation, so it could be anywhere along here, this line. Okay. But what we do know is that this particular point x1, y1 uh, is on the line. So because x1, y1 is on the line, uh, that means that x1, y1 must be a solution. Okay. So x1 y1 must be a solution okay to this particular equation okay so what does that tell us well then therefore okay we must have that and um, if it's a solution it means when i substitute in x1 y1 i should get zero so that means that bx1 minus a y1 plus d must be equal to zero 
Okay. Now we can we can solve for d. We don't forget we'll be given. You're going to be given when it comes to these problems. You'll be given a line a x plus b y plus c, and you'll be given a point x one y one. So for all intents and purposes, we know a, we know b, we know c, and we know x one and we know y one. So out of this particular this particular equation here, the only thing that we actually don't know is d. So we just solve for d. So therefore we have that d must be equal to well, let's keep the positive term first, so it must be equal to ay1 minus bx1. That's what d must be equal to. And hence, and hence, hence m must be this particular equation now where we now know the d value in terms of the a's, the b's, and the x1's, and the y1's. So now we know that m, uh, the equation of the line m, must be uh, bx minus ay plus d, well d is plus ay1, Minus b x one must be equal to must be equal to zero. Okay, so for all intents and purposes, now we have two equations of the lines. We have the line L and we have the line M. So why don't we find our point of intersection, which will give us which will give us this point here, the point of intersection of these two particular lines. Now this is where things get a little bit crazy from an algebraic perspective, but things should be okay. Okay, things should be straightforward enough. So let me just write down these two lines again. Okay, let me just write them again down again. So we have L. L, the line L is it's ax plus by plus c equals zero, and the line M, the line M is bx is bx minus ay minus ay, and it's going to be plus ay one plus ay one minus bx one minus bx1 is equal to zero. There are two lines, okay? Uh, so what we want to do is we want to solve. So let's just solve through cancellation, okay? So let's let's divide this line. Let's get rid of the x's first and solve for y. So let's divide L by A. That will make this in the form of x plus some 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 factor of y plus some other term is equal is equal to zero and let's divide M across by B. So what we'll do is uh, let's let's find Let's find L divided by A, and let's find M divided by B, okay? So that gives us two new lines. Our new lines are going to be, okay, so let's take L and divide across by A. So now AX divided by A gives us X, okay? Plus BY divided by A gives us, it's, it's BA times Y, okay? And plus we're going to have C over A is our constant term. Okay. Let's divide across the line M by B. So BX divided